of the early formal methods that children are introduced to for written multiplication is known as the grid method, and this uses their knowledge of partitioning. If partitioning is something you or your child is unsure about, just check out those videos first. With the grid method and partitioning, we're acknowledging the separate place value of each digit in a number. Here, I've used blue to denote a digit that's in the tens and green to denote any digit that's in the ones. First thing we do here, 23 multiplied by 4, we draw a grid. I'm going to put a little multiplication sign there in the corner. Beneath that, I'm going to partition 23 into 20 and 3. Beside the multiplication sign, I'm multiplying each of those numbers by 4, so I put a 4 in there. First thing I do, 20 multiplied by 4. If you know that 2 times 4 is 8, you should be able to work out that 20 times 4 will be 10 times more than 2 times 4, which is 80. And if this is something you're unsure about, check back at some of the videos that look at multiplying by 10, 100 and 1000. And we've put the 80 in that square there to show that that's 20 times by 4. Now we multiply 3 times 4 and that goes in the grid that's beside the 3 and beneath the 4. That's 12. Now we've filled in the grid, we add those totals together. 80 add 12 is 92. So 23 multiplied by 4 is 92. Here's one for you to try. Using the grid method and your knowledge of partitioning, work out 28 multiplied by 5. First of all, draw the grid. Put a little multiplication sign in the corner there. And beneath that, we're going to partition 28 into its separate tens and ones. So we have 20 and 8. And each of those is going to be multiplied by 5, so we put that in the top. In the first blank square, we need to work out 20 times by 5. And if you remember that 2 times 5 is 10, 20 times 5 will be 10 times more than 2 times 5, so that will be 100. And that goes in the square beside the 20 and beneath the 5. Now we're going to fill in the square beside the 8 and beneath the 5. 8 multiplied by 5, that's 40. We add those totals together, 100, add 40, that's 140. 28 multiplied by 5 is 140. We've used some bigger numbers now. This time we're going to multiply two two-digit numbers. So both these numbers have a tens digit and a ones digit. 35 we can partition to 30 and 5, 42 along the top we can partition to 40 and 2. Starting with 30 multiplied by 40, 30 multiplied by 40 will be 1200 and 30 multiplied by 2 so that will be 60. Now we're looking at 5 multiplied by 40 to go in the square beside the 5 and beneath the 40 is 200 and 5 times 2 is 10. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can add the rows 1200 and add 60 which is 1260 and 200 add 10 which is 210 and then we'd add those columns together or if you prefer, you can add the columns first. 1,200 add 200 is 1,400. 60 add 10 is 70. And then you add either the columns together or the rows together that I've indicated here in blue. So if you're adding the columns together, you're adding 1,260 and 210. If you're adding the rows together, you're adding 1,400 add 70. Whichever ones you add, your answer will be 1470. Here's one for you to try. 
63 multiplied by 27. Pause the video, have a go. We have 60 and 3 multiplied by 20 and 7. Starting with 60 times 20 is 1200. 60 times 7, 420. 3 times 20, that will be 60. And 3 times 7 is 21. It's up to you whether you add the rows so that you end up with 1620 add 81 or you add the columns so that you end up with 1260 add 441. Whichever one you choose, your total should be 1701. We can use this with three digit numbers as well. Here we have a three digit number multiplied by a two digit number. You can see that the grid gets bigger the more place value columns we have. 400 and 90 and 6 and each one of those will be multiplied by 80 and by 5. Again using your knowledge of multiplying by hundreds and thousands 400 multiplied by 80 that would be 32,000. 400 times by 5 2,000. 90 times 80 7,200. 90 times 5 that's 450. 6 times 80 will be 480 and 6 times 5 is 30. And again choose whether you're going to get your totals from adding the rows or adding the columns. If you're adding the rows you'll have 34,000, add 7,650, add 510. If you're working with the columns you'll have 39,680, add 2,480. Whichever you choose your total will be 42,160. And here's one for you to try. 643 multiplied by 78. Pause the video, have a go. Partition 643, 640 and 3, and each of those will be multiplied by 70 and then by 8. 600 times by 70, that's 42,000. 6 times 8 is 48, that will be 100 times more, 4,800. 40 times 70, and that will be 2,800. 40 times 8, that will be 320. And 3 times 70 is 210. 3 times 8, that's 24. Again, choose whether you want to get your totals from adding the rows or adding the columns. If you add the rows, you will have 46,800, add 3,120, add 234. If you choose to add the columns, you will have 45,010, add 5,144. Your total for 643 multiplied by 78 will be 50,154.